Hello, my friends. You can probably tell by the look of this canvas that I'm going to be attempting a dump and swirl pour a la Dwight Pours. If, and if you are familiar with his work, please check out his channel. I will link it down below in the description box. I promise you will be mesmerized by his art. But first, I have two collaborations to tell you about. Starting this coming Friday, January 13th, I'm going to be joining Garrick Brown, Britta Clayton, um, Maida Johnson, and Tara Lombardi in a group we're calling Pouring from Coast to Coast. Our intention is to do a live chat premiere video thing every other Friday. Garrick will be kicking things off at 2 p.m. Eastern Time this Friday in North Carolina, I believe he is, and will wind things up in California with Maida and I. I hope you'll join us. It should be lots of fun. Secondly, on Sunday, January 15th, I will be joining 14 other color art affiliates for the Vivid Winterfest event. And um, this is something I've done four times now, and it's so much fun. Each channel will have a prize drawing worth $50.00. And you also have the chance to win the grand prize of a $400 color art shopping spree. Leslie will start the ball rolling at 2.15 Eastern Time, and my segment will be around 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll have an exact time as we get closer. It always amazes me to see the variety be seen so many artists, so it's a lot of fun, and I hope you'll join us for that as well. Okay, let's get to this. Now I noticed that um, when you're using a white canvas and black is going to be my dump color, Dwight and everyone else I've seen do this, paints around um, the edges so you get good coverage because the paint is very, very thin and you don't want any of the white showing through. Then you mix your paints really thin and uh, the extreme sheen seemed to work really well for this technique. So I've got sapphire, and I've mixed it two parts flow, no, one to one, excuse me, one part flow trial, one part paint, and maybe a couple tablespoons of water to get a very, very thin consistency. And sapphire, pewter, mix them all the same way, and silver. And then he always seems to put white down first. I don't know if that's why that's necessary. Maybe it helps these sell up or maybe it makes them make more of an appearance. I don't know, but I'm doing it too. And I mix the white and the black the same way I did three parts flow trawl to one part paint and then a lot of water. And this is actually a little thinner than the colors, just ever so slightly but it doesn't leave them out at all. It goes straight in. And that's it. So he makes it look really easy. I know it's not. Nothing is as easy as it appears when someone is good at doing something. So let's cross your fingers for me. Let's see what I can do. And he works much bigger too. I, I probably... Um, I don't know that I need to pour as much paint out. I think I won't. I think I'll pour that much for that. Um, pewter, silver. I don't know if I should add more. Oh, I'm gonna add a little more of each color. And silver. Okay. And now, Comes the dump. 
So, uh, there we go. Pours it right on top of here. And then you move very quickly, going corner to corner, kind of cover up. Oh, okay, I'm going for it. Corner, back to the center, corner, back to the center, corner. Down here, the other corner. Okay, and then the cells start popping up. And you shouldn't touch the uh, canvas. Then he kind of messes with it a little bit. He does a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this. Once the cells, these things start popping up, I think you probably leave it kind of alone because you don't want to have them misshapen. I think if you just let them develop now, um, you know, they'll maintain a nice kind of round shape. I don't know. Um, he does a time lapse thing. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, um, I'll torch it now and then um, I'll just turn the camera off and, and come back later. Oh, you know what? I can't even torch it now. My, my torch needs to be filled up. So uh, that's what he does. He kind of does that throughout and continues to torch, I think. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll come back in about uh, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, my friends. See you then. Okay, my friends, well, it's been about 30 minutes, and as you can see, a lot has happened. Uh, he continued to torch it and tilt the sides. I think the idea, I'm not even sure why, is to reshape your negative space, and I'm not unhappy with it. Now, I got these giant forms that looks like something you'd see through a microscope, and Dwight does not get those, but... I rather like them. I think they're interesting. And these two right here look like real pearls. Let me bring you in just to see those. They're so wonderful. Now they may morph some more as time goes on. But look at that. It looks like a black pearl and a and a white one. There's another one there. Yeah. I think it's fun. I now I feel like this happened. Maybe I had too much water in my mix. Um it's going to take some experimentation, but overall, I'm not unhappy with it, and I will be revisiting it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me, and I hope I'll see you this Friday with the uh, premiere of Pouring from Coast to Coast. Goodbye, my friends.